the last time on Wild Child, we got her repaired at Hodgson Yacht Services in Maine. We got new running backstays. We stayed there for a couple of days and got our feet on land. We stayed in the mooring fields surrounded by lobster pots, but we were sheltered and safe. You can see from the leaves on the trees that winter is coming. So we just stop at the uh, general store to eat a bite. Add some pasta there, delicious. Lexi had the shippers pie. In a nice apple pie with some cheese on top. Apparently it's the American way to eat apple pie is with a slice of American cheese on it. Yeah. <laughs> it actually was good. That was delicious. And then after that, Lexi had a long conversation about And look, there they are, the lobster fishermen. I realized that rich people really need their lobster and the fishermen have the right to go get it. But I was really sick of trying to sail around lobster pots randomly scattered everywhere. I'm starting to really dislike the lobster fishermen. There's the enemy. If you want to know what sailing in the Atlantic is like, this is it. It is long, long periods of boredom because you chose a good weather window and you just sit for hours and hours and hours and days and days and days and just do this. Or sometimes it's rolly, up and down, vomity, sick to your stomach, get thrown around and tossed like a rag doll. And then sometimes it just gets scary. And sitting all day, day after day at the helm, this is how I kept my sanity. Welcome to Witness from the BBC World Service, where history is told by those who were there. Podcasts from the BBC World Service are supported by advertising. Hello, and welcome to the Witness Podcast with me, Louise Hidalgo. In September 1969, Libyan army officers overthrew the king and declared Libya a republic. One of the coup leaders was a young captain called Muammar Gaddafi, rise to become Libya's erratic and repressive ruler for the next 42 years. I've been speaking to having Mother, somebody to listen father, to, Japan having Mother, some voice out here in the ocean helps to make it bearable because it's mind-numbingly boring. In the early days when the call first happened, lots of people were very positive about it. The curfew is strictly enforced in Tripoli this evening. My father was a young Republican, so as much as he respected the king, he was personally Okay, we're gonna attack in two minutes. Okay. I kinda prefer to sail closer to the shore, so at least you have something to look at. Once you get about 5 miles offshore, you can't see land anymore, and at 10 miles offshore, there's nothing to see but water and sky in all directions. And that's pretty boring. This is Seguin Island, and the Seguin Island Lighthouse. It's off the coast in Maine, just uh, north of Portland. I really didn't want to have to sail all the way around it. This island is some, um, I don't know, like five or six miles offshore. So I was trying to get Wild Child to go between the island and the mainland, sort of cut the corner. But the current from the tides and the wind weren't, really weren't in my favor. And with the sideways slip that we were experiencing, it was a really tight call. I did have to make a short tack in the, cha in the pass on this side of the island and not hit those rocks. Made a short tack, got back on course and continued on the way. I remember it taking a very long time just to get past this one landmark. Even when we got close to the island, it still took an hour to pull away from it. We were battling probably three knots of current against us.
if you just listen to the sound of the ocean, you can just hear and feel the raw power in the waves. And this is Mother Nature on a very calm day. We were making our way from near Booth Bay Harbor to Portland. It was an easy day of sailing and we only had to get about 35 nautical miles. At least the ocean was calm. Hold the camera level with the horizon. I wanted to catch video to show you the heel of the boat. But your natural instinct when the boat is healed over is to level yourself off. I couldn't get Michelle to understand to level the camera to the horizon, not to the boat. But you can see the starboard rail is almost in the water. And that's normal for Wild Child. She doesn't mind. She is a really tough girl that goes really fast. You can go pretty much straight upwind. What an awesome sailboat to be in control of. So remember, this is still a calm day of sailing. Are you starting to feel sick to your stomach yet? Could you imagine being on the boat? This is what we see. We literally see all sky, all water. All sky, all water. And this is a calm day. This is actually a calm and gentle sail for us. After eight hours of sailing, taking turns at the helm under mostly blue skies and mostly calm conditions, we were able to turn the boat to starboard and begin heading inland towards Portland, Maine. With the wind behind and the waves behind, the rolling motion on the boat becomes different. It feels calmer. You can't tell that it's still 18 knots of wind because when it's behind you, it doesn't force the boat to heel over. The original plan was to go all the way to Portland, Maine because it was a big city with shops and facilities, but we were unfamiliar with it and it was a busy commercial shipping port. Ahead you can see that's Peaks Island and Great Diamond Island and Long Island which are just outside Portland, Maine. We were tired from a long day of sailing and really just looking for some place to drop the hook where we would be sheltered from the winds for the night. We figured, eh, we're only seven or eight miles away. We can figure the rest out tomorrow morning. Figure out where near Portland could we go anchor and nobody yell at us. And as we made it our way in towards the island chain, we, fit, we came across Great Diamond Island. We tucked around to the left of this little island and we found ourselves in the McKinley Estate Harbor. It was all full of mooring balls and it was end of season with nobody around, so we grabbed a mooring ball for the night. It turned into a really bad anchorage and by morning we were rolling sideways to the ocean swell. As the sideways ocean swell picked up throughout the night, it really ruined my night's sleep. But that sailing, sometimes good, sometimes bad. <laughs> 